What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we have this brand new 2023 Range Rover in the shop. It's gonna be getting full body paint protection film. This is a new redesigned Range Rover. It's looking super clean, super beautiful. It's kind of a little bit of a gold champagne color. This is the autobiography, so it's fully loaded. This is technically like the extra luxury line. The customer brought it to us to protect it from front to back, from top to bottom in full body paint protection film. We're gonna be using the Lumar Valor PPF, which carries a 12 year warranty and has ceramic coating infused in the top layer. So it's gonna be protected for years to come. We're also going to be tinting the two front windows in our ceramic plus film to match the rear. And then we are also gonna be adding a little bit of paint protection film on the inside of the door seals on all four doors, as well as the little Range Rover plaque, just so that way whenever the customer is getting in and out of the vehicle, it's not scratching up those areas. We've already got the vehicle all prepped, cleaned, paint corrected and the emblems in the front all removed. All we have left is to print the full vehicle and start installing. We are gonna be using a computer plotter to plot all of our patterns for pretty much every single panel except for the front hood. This hood, just because it does have this little kind of like curve in that little lip in the front, we are gonna be bulking it just so that way we can get a nice and clean stretch over that without having any fingers or any stretch marks, anything of that nature. We do also tuck all of our edges wherever it is possible. So when we are using the computer plotter, we do extend the edges so that way we can tuck from the hood into the fender or underneath the hood and from the fender into the hood area. We will also tuck all of the doors as well just so that way you can get as seamless and as invisible of an installation as possible. Currently, we do have three cars in the shop getting full body paint protection film. This Range Rover, we have the matte blue Subaru on the other side, and then we also have a brand new Rivian R1S. This one is getting full body matte paint protection film. The customer brought it to us on a little bit of a time crunch. He actually brought it to us on Monday. Today is Wednesday and he actually wants it ready by the end of the day today. So about a two day turnaround for the full vehicle. We're gonna be doing full body matte paint protection film. We're gonna be tinting the full vehicle in our Lumar IRX film, which what we call our ceramic plus film. That one gives you about 80% heat rejection depending on the shade. We're also gonna be smoking out the headlights and the taillights on this vehicle. Ahmed is currently working on that right now. We got the light smoke on the front and then I believe we're gonna go medium smoke on the rear as well as ceramic coat it. If you've seen the new Rivians, you know that the headlights pretty much span from all the way over here to the other side. They have about three bars with two technically headlights in the middle. So they are pretty big headlights. Same thing with the taillights. It spans throughout the whole entire rear half of the trunk. Typically a project like this takes about a full week. However, when the customer came in and told us that he has a certain deadline, we were able to work with them and we're gonna be able to get it done by that certain deadline. But that's gonna be enough talking. I gotta hop on this Rivian so that way we can meet our deadline. We're gonna be showing you guys the process of both of these vehicles, finishing up the Rivian and then the Range Rover and I'll check back in with you guys here in just a little bit.
So the Rivian R1S is all complete. Just to do a quick recap of exactly what we did to this vehicle, starting off with the headlights, we tinted all the headlights with our light smoke. As you can see, the headlights are currently on right now. It barely dims the visibility or anything like that. It's not gonna obstruct your view at night. However, during the day, it is gonna give it a nice little touch over stock. Coming around, as you can see, we did the full body matte paint protection film on the full vehicle, while also doing gloss paint protection film on some of the gloss black parts, such as the mirror stock, the A pillars, and the roof. We did also smoke out the reflectors on both the front and the rear in the dark smoke. Originally, these are orange from the factory. They just really don't fit in with the vehicle. However, in the US, that is part of the laws that the manufacturers do have to put the reflectors in orange in the front and red in the rear. So we went ahead and smoked those out. We did also tint the full vehicle in our Ceramic Plus film, the Lumar IRX 15%. This is gonna give you about 80% heat rejection and keep you and the interior nice and cool, as well as if you have any passengers, any dogs, things of that nature. Moving on to the back, we did also smoke out the tail lights in our medium smoke. The lights are on as well. So as you can see, before they turned off, you can still see the tail lights perfectly fine without obstructing the view of people behind you if you're braking, anything of that sort. However, when the lights are off, it still looks really good, really clean, and really just ties in with all that black and white look. One other thing we did do is we wrap the door handles in a gloss black. As you can see right here, it gives it a little bit more of a contrast with that black and white look. The black really blends in nice with like the trim and the top half, which is gloss black as well. And then we topped it off with two layers of ceramic coating. The ceramic coating has a UV protectant in it, as well as it's gonna make the vehicle much easier to clean and maintain, especially if you're going on road trips. If the car is gonna get dirty, it's just gonna reduce the amount of time that you're gonna be washing your vehicle. The Lumar matte paint protection film, like we've mentioned many times before, has a 10 year warranty against any peeling, bubbling, fading, yellowing, any Anything out of the unusual like that and that's covered by both us and the manufacturer so you can bring it back to us and we'll take care of it no problem other than that we still have the Range Rover inside that we need to finish up so we'll go ahead and get back to that So we've just laid the hood on the Range Rover. The material is only 60 inches wide and this hood is just over 60 inches. So we're only gonna have to stretch it maybe half an inch or so. But one thing that we're gonna do to make it easier is actually cut the slack that's right over here. Part of the material does kind of catch the hood and the windshield yep. just to make it a little bit easier on ourselves. And that way we don't have as much material or as much slack. We're gonna trim this off and then we're gonna start from over here. We're gonna tack the back of the door and the fender and then stretch out to that side and then stretch out the four corners. So we're about to do that here in just a second. So right now we're just gonna be spraying some tack right here and then I'm gonna give it a nice little tug so that way we don't have any fingers right there in the middle and then I'm gonna tack the film. So now me and Zephyr are both gonna stretch both sides. So now that we got the hood all stretched out, we don't have any fingers on the middle or on the sides or the back. So now we can just squeegee it like a normal hood. So we just got the hood squeegeed. Now we got our tack solution, which is pretty much just alcohol and water. And then we're gonna go ahead and flush out all the edges of any possible soap water. So that way, whenever we go to cut the film, we're gonna cut about an extra quarter inch. So that way we can tuck it underneath the hood and get a seamless installation. Just whenever you leave that soap water in there, it just takes so much longer to dry. So you could either use kind of your tack solution or just regular distilled water. They both work the same. So we just cut off all the excess material off the Range Rover hood. Now we're just gonna open up the hood, lift it up, and I'm gonna make my second and final cut. This way I don't have to cut on the paint or anything like that and I can get a much cleaner cut. This is just hot water. I'm pretty much just using this to flush out all the soap, all the alcohol. Because we did stretch it, so the material is gonna have a little bit of pullback. So that hot water is gonna help it pull it back so that way I can read the film, see if there is too much pullback so that way I can fix it just so that way we don't have any fingers or any material not sitting properly. So that hot water is just gonna help us out a little bit. And then I'm gonna go ahead and make that second cut. Yeah. 
So now that I got the material all cut, I'm just gonna go ahead and tuck over the film and that'll pretty much be it for this panel. You can go back and forth. It is a little bit wet, so you can let it dry for about maybe 30 minutes or so until it's completely dry and that'll help it tuck. Or sometimes it'll just go naturally, which is what's happening right now. And all you have to do is just make sure you don't leave any water right on this edge so that way you don't get any bubbles once that dries up and then you're all good to go. Just a quick update on the Range Rover. Everything's just about done. We have maybe two, three pieces left. This vehicle has over a hundred pieces. I believe it's right around 105, which if you guys remember, we did a Lamborghini Urus a couple months ago. That was 96 pieces. So this Range Rover, although the body panels are a little flatter, it is a lot more little pieces. So we got just about every single thing protected on this vehicle. Anything you can think of, the window trim, all the gloss black trim, there's a piece for this. There's a little piece for this rear reflector right here over at the bottom. So all of those do have some level of paint protection film on them. But right now I'm just cleaning up this quarter panel, getting it all prepped. We're about to lay this. And then after this is done, we can go ahead and look over the full vehicle, make sure everything's sealed, make sure everything's all cleaned, and then the customer is going to be picking it up later today. the Range Rover autobiography all complete. We got it covered from front to back in Lumar's Valor paint protection film, which carries a 12 year warranty and has ceramic coating infused in the top layer. This vehicle has over 100 pieces total of pieces that you have to cover and every single one of them is covered. We got all the gray trim in the front, all the black trim on the front as well as on the sides and on the rear, as well as the full roof complete. So this vehicle is going to be protected for years to come. We also tinted the two front windows in our Ceramic Plus film, which has over 80% heat rejection and 99% UV protection. So it's gonna protect both the customer and the interior from any harmful UV rays. If you guys follow me over to the doors, we also got the door sills as well as that step plate all covered in paint protection film as well, just so that way those don't get scratched. So we did a piece of clear bra from right here all the way over to the edge. And then we also clear broad these just so that way they don't get scratched. They don't get any rock tips or anything like that. The customers wanted those protected. So we went ahead and did that for them. We got all the gloss black trim on the lower parts of the door, the mirrors, we got the face, we got the base, as well as this piece right here. All of the window trim on the sides, as well as the A pillars, the B pillars, and this little strip, all of that's protected. Follow me around to the back. We also have a piece for this little gray section right here the full rear bumper, the tail lights, the spoiler uh, covers both the big piece, this little trim piece right here, as well as this triangle, and it tucks up underneath the spoiler all the way up under there as well. Chances are of getting a rock tip or any damage under there is really slim to none. However, the patterns in the core software still cover those pieces. But that'll do it for this vehicle. I hope you guys enjoyed the process of watching us clear bra this full vehicle. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, give it a thumbs up, and we'll see you guys next time.